Hey there, Steve here, day 25 of my 90 day YouTube challenge. I am working remotely again. I'm a school principal and we are working furiously to set ourselves up for distance learning. So it is not as easy as allowing your kids to go work from home. Uh, there is a lot of things that go on in the back end, especially when it comes to uh, money and especially when it comes to guidance from the State Board of Education. So that's what I spent today doing. I was in a webinar that the California Department of Education did giving uh, school districts guidance in terms of how they can facilitate distance learning and still meet the compliance regulations that are involved in administering individual education plans that students receive through their special education services. So the good news is that we're going to be able to do that. We're going to be able to do that in a virtual distant environment. I think this is a time of disruption, especially in a lot of industries. I know that there are a lot of industries where people want to work virtually or remotely, but are unable to. And it's really because of, I think, compliance and not necessarily skill, talent, or ability. If you hear my son in the background, he's playing video games with his friend and uh, I hope it doesn't come out in the video. But here's what I'm thinking about in terms of compliance and in terms of skill and ability. Now, let's say for example, an asteroid was coming to hit the earth. Well, there's not much in terms of skill and ability we can't just pack up and go colonize the moon. We don't have that technology available to us at our disposal. So if the asteroid was going to hit the Earth, the only option we had would be just to live our lives. Okay, escaping the Earth, not an option because we don't have the technology to colonize the moon nor get the entire population off of the Earth in time. So that's one case. But in terms of virtual co-working, we do have the ability to give people laptops, for them to send emails from home, and really the only thing blocking that is not the technology, not the ability, not the talent, but the willingness to eliminate regulations so that people can do these things. And that's what I'm seeing through these executive orders by the governor, for example. For example, we waived HIPAA requirements. So that doesn't mean that uh, we can immediately announce people's medical information throughout the, the world. It means that our computers don't have to be HIPAA compliant. So a teacher can work on a computer that isn't necessarily HIPAA compliant. That is what we're talking about. So there are a lot of regulations that are put in place to keep people safe, but I think if we get back to some sort of human quality that, hey, I'm not going to broadcast somebody's medical information out to the general population, then I think we wouldn't need these regulations. So maybe this will be a good time during this period of disruption where we can get back to a spirit of, of generosity and a spirit of consideration and maybe some of these things that I think block us from doing the type of work we want to do can free us to really do great work and help other people. Now, in terms of the everything else that's going on, we really wish everybody to be safe, to uh, shelter in place, follow the guidelines that the government has given you, and uh, stay positive, do great work. This is day 25 of my 90-day YouTube video experiment. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.